Iran experienced the biggest boom in Internet growth throughout the Middle East, according to the Open Net Initiative Country Report. But second to China, Iran has exercised the widest crackdown on cyberspace. Government regulations now demand websites and web blogs to be registered, filtered and in many cases banned without explanation. Web blogs such as Farnaz Safi's. This is, this is my main web blog, which is um, actually blocked nearly six months ago. Uh, by the judiciary and uh, official authorities, and I don't know why, because I'm not a political blogger. I'm not right about political issues. I'm always very careful. Uh, but I myself think that perhaps it's because of the hits. I, I can tell you that um, Black Sphere is not also a safe place, because we have some cases that uh, the government um, arrested some bloggers due to what they write in their uh, web blocks. Despite that, and the government restricting the speed of internet connection to 128 kilobytes per second, so Iranians would not be able to download foreign music, films, or TV programs, bloggers have been very active inside Iran. It's a very um, popular concept, especially uh, for you. For me, as a feminist, women rights activist, and journalist, is like an alternative media. It's a good had to, you know, practice democracy. Because, for example, you see that there are, you have so many readers who disagree with you. So you start talking with them. But the ministries of culture and Islamic guidance, justice and information do not want people to criticize the supreme leader, religious figures, Islamic laws, or discuss sexual matters. On March 1, 2007, a new law required weblogs and websites to register their detailed contact and web content information. This makes it easier for the government to monitor, filter, and monthly block nearly 1,000 weblogs. The Cyber Crimes Bill of 2006 also makes the country's seven internet service providers criminally liable for the content they carry, including email. If they do not abide by government and filtering regulations, they can be temporarily suspended. Despite such heavy control of cyberspace, 7.2 million Iranians remain hooked on the Internet, and nearly 400,000 Persian blogs are still live. Some websites outside Iran keep track of these Iranian blogs, capturing the true stories and views of the Iranian people. The new multimedia news website, Iran VNC's Blog Watch, constantly monitors Iranian blogs, voicing views like these. President Ahmadinejad spoke so much at Columbia University about the freedoms and rights enjoyed by the Iranian people that I wished I lived there too. We don't have lunch or dinner. We just eat yellow cake instead. Iran VNC archives them in cooperation with Stanford University and the Library of Congress and then post their URL here. In the future, particularly as Iran's parliament is poised to sign into law the Cyber Crimes Bill, this blog watch will be a unique resource capturing for the world the pulse of Iranian culture and people.